What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey, hey, everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight... Tonight! All right, we're coming back to Queens of the Stone Age. Yes, indeed. Queens of the Stone Age fans, feeling you. Come on, now. Here we go. Before we go any further, for those of you who are feeling inclined to doing all of the clicks and the likes and the bibbity bibbity bob, do me a favor before you do all that stuff. Please watch the whole video first, okay? Give me a chance to actually earn those clicks and likes. Now, after the video's done, if you still feel like doing all those clicks and likes, then by all means, feel free to click away. This comes as a request from Thomas C. And Thomas wanted to see me react to this song by Queens of the Stone Age called Keep Your Eyes Peeled. Now. Have I heard the song before? No, I have not. To the best of my knowledge, this does not resonate with me in any way, shape, or form. However, there's always a possibility I may have heard the song in passing and I just don't realize it. So as always, if I start listening to the song and I suddenly go, wait a minute, hold everything. I've heard this before. I'll let you know. That's the truth. You know me, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This was posted by KCRW, okay, so it's one of those in studio performances probably. And the video has 172,000 views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the video description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right. Here we go. Queens of the Stone Age performing Keep Your Eyes Peeled live at KCRW's Apogee Sessions. Cool. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this.
I don't know about this one. I like the groove. But here's the thing. I like the groove, and in all honesty, that is the only thing I like. Um, it's got a nice laid-back feel, that three within the four, that shuffle feel. Doom, doom, da, da, doom, 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 da. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Doom, doom, da, da, doom, 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 da, doom, 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 da. But it, it, it is four, four, but it's got that three feel within it, man. That shuffle feel. I like it. I do like it. It, <clears throat> it it's a little tiny, tiny, tiny bit slow. I wish it was just ever so slightly faster. Um. But if I'm being honest, folks, that's the only thing about this that I'm digging. The guitar, the bass, the drums, it's it's lackluster. I'm sorry, but it, it is, man. It's just, it's not, it's not grabbing me in any way. It, it, as a matter of fact, uh, Josh's guitar, it, we're using that octave pedal. I understand wanting to play the low B. Okay, fine. Detune and play the low B. Yeah, sure, no problem. But play the low B in the guitar register. He's taking a he's got his low B set to a five or six strings low B. An octave below what a guitar detuned B would sound like. Um I'll give you an example. Let me let me grab this really quick. Excuse me while I whip this out. <laughs> Okay, so here's here's where a guitar's B would be, right? Or, or I'm sorry, not a B, it's a C sharp. My apologies. Here's where a guitar player's C sharp would be. This would be the guitar note for his A, uh, his A string depressed on the third fret. Right? Okay. Sure, no problem. Now, here's where the bass depressed on the third fret would be right now the guitar if you take the e string and detune it down to that c that's what you would get but josh is using an octave pedal to take it down to the bass range and here's the problem with that he's using a typical guitar distortion in a bass register which ends up making it sound muddy and unfortunately yeah it sounds it sounds muddy when the when the song first kicked in and we didn't see them playing i thought it was the bass player i really thought that was the, that the bass player is playing they're playing the exact same note in the exact same register is just the bass player has a clean tone along with the guitar tone, playing the exact same note with the distortion. So it does sound fuller, which also kind of works against it in the in the in terms of getting that muddiness going. I was about to yell at the bass player. I thought that was the bass player's fault. I was like, the bass player is using a distortion patch that sounds just like a guitar. He's not EQing properly. No, actually, the bass player is doing okay. The bass player, it's not the bass player's fault. That's Josh's fault. Um. He really, sh if he's going to be playing down that low, he really should have EQ'd better so that it wasn't going to sound as muddy. Unless, I don't know why, I don't know who in their right mind would want to do this unless he is intentionally trying to get that muddy tone. Why would you want to do that is beyond me. I do not understand. But that could very well be the reason. But I mean, as far as what they're playing, though, notationally, it's okay. It's all right. It's not bad. It's just, I'm not going to sit here and go, this is the best song I've ever heard from Queens of the Stone Age. Guys, it's not. And I hate to say this, it's not even close. It's not even remotely close. I don't think we're going to be down the negatives. I, I, don't, I don't think we're going to be down the threes or fours, but... At the same time, I don't see this getting up in the eights or nines either. I, I honestly, as it stands right now, I'm thinking fives, maybe sixes, possibly. 
I don't know. We we still got another two minutes. There's still there's still quite a bit of time, so we'll see what happens here. But as it stands right now, I'm eh, it's it's all right. I, I'm not mad at it, but at the same time, I'm not being blown away by it either. So we'll see what the last two minutes can do. Every time for drummer. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right about there. Uh, yeah, not the biggest fan of this song. It wasn't bad. Okay, I, I, and I, I stand by what I said. This is not going to be in the negatives, okay? This is not going to be in the bad scores. It's not going to be under five, okay? We're not going to be on the fours or the threes or the twos or the ones. But I, there's no way in hell this is going to be up in the eights and nines. There's just there's no chance. And if I'm being honest, sevens probably out of the question too. I, I just, I don't see that happening. Um, I've been wrong in the past though, so I, I just... I need to think about it. I, I need to get all my thoughts together and really kind of evaluate everything. So let me get my thoughts together. I'll see you in the review and we'll talk about it. Well, there you go, folks. That was Queens of the Stone Age with Keep Your Eyes Peeled. Uh, this was a request from Thomas C. Yeah, uh, I thought about it, guys. I did. I. I I took everything I possibly could into perspective here, and, and I, I really, in, in any consideration, in all honesty, guys, I, I, I was right. <laughs> Sevens, no. Eights and nines, definitely not. But we're not in the negatives, okay? We're not in the negatives. It is getting a positive score. So when you hear the score, guys, please keep in mind, this is not a bad score, okay? I promise it'll all make sense. Let's start off with that score, shall we? On a scale of one to 10, I'm gonna give that a 5.7. Yeah, 5.7, I feel good about that score. Let me tell you why. Why? Okay, first things first. 5.7, what does that mean? Well, a 5.7, it's an okay score, okay? so. I think it's an okay song. It's not great. It's not terrible. It's not good. It's not bad. It's not pretty good or pretty bad. It's it, it's, it's just okay. It, it's an all right score. So it's getting a 5.7, which is an okay score. It also would equate out to three out of five stars and a C plus letter grade. So it's see, we're not in the negatives. We're 
we're right about the average line. Remember, everybody starts at five, and this went up a little bit, okay? So we're not in the negatives, we're still in the positives. 5.7, okay score, three out of five stars, and a C plus letter grade. Now, how did I come up with this score? Well, so glad you asked. Um, nothing about this song really stood out in a positive way. Um, the, the distortion on Josh's guitar, it was fine, except for the fact that he was down, he, he, he was using an octave pedal to bring his pitch down a full octave, down into the bass player range. And when you do that, you have to kind of think of yourself as a bass player at that point. And, and when you're gonna use distortion, you have got to EQ your guitar like a bass would to use distortion properly. Otherwise, if you EQ your guitar like a guitar and you're playing down in the bass register, playing bass guitar frequencies, it's gonna sound muddy as hell. And I hate to say it, but the proof is in the pudding. It it was pretty muddy. Okay, let, let's be honest here. I thought when the song kicked in, I swear to you, I thought that was the bass player using a distortion pedal. I was ready to rip him a new one. Like, what are you thinking using your bass and with, with distortion and not EQing it properly? I'm so glad I held off because once I saw the video was playing, I saw Josh and the guitar player playing simultaneously. And then I heard the bass come through in the mix. Clean, no distortion on it whatsoever. You would not believe the sigh of relief I breathed. I was like, oh boy, did I ever dodge a bullet there. Whoo, I almost reamed the wrong person. Um, now the bass player did it, it was just fine. Okay, the, what the bass player was doing was fine. It was okay. I had no issue with it. Um, the drumming, it was okay. Nothing, nothing, nothing impressive. Nothing fancy. A lot of this, a lot of usage of the same fill over and over again. It became, if I'm being honest, a little repetitive. Um, the strongest thing going for this song, if I'm being honest for you, was the actual groove of the song that laid back 4-4 four, four time signature, but with a three feel in there, that shuffle feel. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, bum, 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 one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. We had that shuffle feel with that three feel within the four laid back. It, it felt good. It did feel good. And in all honesty, it was probably the most interesting thing about the song. It was definitely the most pleasing thing, at least to my ears, about the song. Um, it, it, it was it was nice. I will absolutely give it that. Very fitting for the style of song that we had going. Am I going to sit here and blow things out of proportion and say that it was an amazing feel that created by the drum? No, it, it's a shuffle feel. I mean, it, it's not that hard, but it was nice. It was definitely nice. Everything else about the song, in all honesty, was just okay. It, I have heard far better songs from Queens of the Stone Age, both from an energy standpoint, an entertainment standpoint, a feel and, and drive standpoint, even from a technical standpoint. Far better job from them on other songs than this one. This song was just okay. Now, does that mean it's bad? No, it's not bad. It, it's okay. You know, it's, it's all right. It hangs in there, okay? Vocally, mm, I've heard Josh be far more impressive than this. Th this was this was pretty bare bones basic for him. So I mean, but again, not bad, not negative. Okay, just it was okay. So that's how we're coming up with the okay score of five point seven. All right, so there it is. That's how I feel, and that's where we're gonna stay. So let's wrap everything up here in a nice shiny bow, shall we? We got five point seven, which is an okay scale rating three out of five stars, and a C plus letter grade. Take your pick, I don't care, whichever one of those floats your boat. Final word, final score, I have spoken. Well, that's gonna do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hope I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you guys feel like joining the fan base, go ahead and click on that button down there. If you guys want to like the video, go ahead and like the video. If you guys want to ring the bell, go ahead and ring the bell. 
it honestly doesn't make any difference at all to me but if you guys feel like doing these things well then by all means feel free to do so well that's gonna do it for the night folks thank you very much for watching and as always this is david heretic signing off reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other later peace